Hey guys, welcome back to the collector's table. My name is Adam and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Katana aka Jabba's Barge from Dream Scale Model Collections. Now if you're unfamiliar with the Katana, it was a large luxury sail barge owned by Jabba the Hutt that carried a massive transport up to 500 passengers and 26 crew members. Complete with three decks, the sail barge was primarily used to transport passengers on extended trips across the dunes on the planet, Tatooine. Most notably, the sail barge was the site of Jabba's demise at the hands of Princess Leia. Now that I gave you a mini history lesson, let's go ahead and get this thing out the box. So just as a disclaimer, guys, this box looks a little bit different because this is a prototype. So... Sergio Gutierrez from Dream Scale Model Collections was nice enough to send me this prototype so I can go ahead and do an early review for you guys to find out if it's even worth ordering. The first layer has the two sails at the top with the main body of the ship. The second layer has the main part of the base with a display pole and then it has a couple of the fins to the bottom of the body and it's got the rail guns and the deck gun and a couple other little pieces. So let's get this thing on the turntable and see what it looks like. Here's the bottom of the base. It's got Jabba's sail barge there and it says the Katana. And then there's gonna be 80 of these made. Now obviously this one is not numbered because this is the prototype. And underneath that you can see the logo for Dream Scale Model Collection and then their website which is the way you can order it. And then over to my right you can see the uh, front of the barge there. Next is the display rod, and we'll go ahead and plug that into the base. Here's the main body of the ship, and it is very heavy. It's, a, it's made of a high-quality cast resin, so I could tell just by the pure weight of it that it feels like a really good quality. Um, let me go ahead and put this on there. Taking a closer look at the ship, initial thoughts, I really like the size. I think this will scale nicely next to my other... NYC ships or my Force Labs vehicle. So if you have any of those in your collection, I think that would look really good in your display. The paint application looks really well done. It's got very subtle hints of rust going throughout it. And then you also have the exhaust thrusters in the back that have some nice details on the side. And then you have your shutters that are going around the sides of the ship as well. And on the top there, and you also have the railing on the deck of the ship that goes all the way around. Little antennas. I believe these are antennas on the top there. You got some piping that's going through the front of the ship. You also have some exhaust, uh, exhaust hatches and access hatches on the top. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. It's a really clean looking ship. I also like the fact that you can turn this. So you can turn this in whatever direction you, you want to display it, especially if you got like an odd area where you're trying to display it and it's kind of a hard angle. So this pivot might help you a little bit in your displayability, but overall pretty nice so far. Next, we're going to put in these little sail fins on the bottom here. They just magnetize right there. And it's nice that the magnets are there. It just makes it a little easier to stay secure. You want to be careful with this little rod in the middle, though. It seems like it could break easily, so you just want to be careful when installing those. And next are the rail guns and the deck gun. So there's three total. There's two of these rail guns, which go on the sides right here on the railing. That just plugs into the other side. And then you have the main gun or the bigger gun, which is the deck gun right here. Now there's no magnet for this one, but I, I don't think a magnet is needed because it's not really gonna fall out. So that looks good. Next we have this little engine component here, which looks like a little mini thruster of some sort. And it is magnetized, so it's a nice strong magnet. And also while we're down here, I really wanna point out the detail work down at the bottom of the ship where you don't typically look it's got really nice sculpting done, and uh, yeah, it looks really nice under here. Just the detail and the sculpting that they did all underneath the ship came out really nice. So I just wanted to point that out. Okay, next we'll have these little antennas. I believe they're antennas that plug in. 
correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, in the comment section below, but this one looks like it plugs right here towards the front of the barge. Then you have two more on the front of the ship, one on this side and then one on the other side. Next, we're going to go ahead and put the sails on. Now the sails, they have this, I, I think this is like a wooden material, but I'm not really sure. It, it feels like a wooden material. And uh, you have like mixed media on the top for the sail itself. Now, I feel like they've sprayed this with something uh, to make this like a hardened material. So it's a, it's a very interesting way and concept that they did this. And I like that uh, because typically when you see mixed media, it's, it's just kind of loose and kind of hanging down. But this one isn't. It's, it's, uh, it's sprayed with a chemical of some sort to keep it in place, which I like. The back... And that's magnetized and then the front sail is more of the same and we'll plug that one in right here there it is guys the katana jabba's barge all put together and uh, let's start going over some of the pros and the cons, okay? We'll start with the cons. Cons, I had some minor breaks along the railing here. It's separated from the deck, so wasn't really a big deal because they were clean breaks. I was able to super glue it right back together, so you can't really see it. That's probably going to be rectified with the packaging and the, uh, the shipper box when they actually create one for the statue in mass production. Prototypes typically go through some minor breaks, sometimes major breaks, depending on the, on the packaging. Luckily, I didn't have any major breaks with this one. Another con, I would probably say the rods that hold up the sails or are connected to the sails, kind of difficult to put together. Wasn't a huge deal, but it did take some time. I almost needed, uh, I actually did need another person to hold one rod up as I was putting the other one in. You could probably do it yourself though. So for that to be a con is not really a big deal in my book. Pros, I like the detail work along the sides of the ship with the shutters. I like the fact that they paid attention or Sergio paid attention with all the detail work underneath of the ship. Um, that's not somewhere you would typically look, but that's a, a big plus that that's actually done. Another thing is the paint application, the weathering, and the little rust parts that are going throughout the ship look really, really good. I also like the, uh, the rail guns and the deck gun that is pretty uh, spot on with the actual movie. Um, I think that came out great. So yeah, overall, phenomenal piece. Now to get some dimensions. The width is going to be right around 28 inches wide. The depth is going to be right around 10 inches to the top of the deck is right around 13 and a half inches to the deck but if you go up to the sail it's going to be right around like 16 and a half inches tall so not a bad size like i mentioned before it's a it's a great size where it's not too big not too small fits in the collection correctly with some other things that you might have in your collection as far as vehicles or spaceships now let's talk about the pricing here for a second. This particular piece is gonna cost right around $860 USD, which I don't think is a bad price comparable to what I've seen at some other statue companies. I've seen similar Star Wars pieces with the same quality go for $1,100, even $1,800 on the aftermarket in some cases when you're buying them secondhand. So I don't think the pricing is that bad. Uh, now, this is expected to be delivered right around May or June of this year, so it is coming up shortly. If you're interested in this particular piece, I'll go ahead and leave the links in the description below. I'll also leave the link for the private Facebook group for the Katana. If you have any questions, you can ask Sergio Gutierrez there. And guys, that's it for my review today. I really appreciate you coming and checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you back here at the collector's table where every collector
has a seat.